Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for the week ahead. This is for the first week of April. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I am going to do the Celtic Cross spread just this time, um, and then I'm going to go back to my regular spread. I just decided to switch it up this time for this weekly segment so we're just going to see what comes up uh the card that tried to flip was the four of swords that is rest and rejuvenation taking a break maybe that's where you're at maybe you need to take a break for a minute to regather your thoughts you know um to go within to receive some answers that you are seeking so take that as a message so we're going to start out with the initial spread then i'm going to go back around and clarify leo sun moon rising and venus for the week ahead what do we got? Oh, the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This could be you taking on that energy. This is a woman that is not very grounded at this time. Very suspicious, jealous, and hard-headed. So you could be taking on that energy. Or you could be dealing with this person. Um, challenge is letting go. The challenge is the tension, dealing with the tension, going back and forth, going back and forth. Um, you may be going back and forth with this person and you need to let it go. We'll find out. We're going to go back around and let's get the rest of the cards. Oh, you know, there's some bitterness. There's some resent here. There is. And, and I think it's probably within you or you're dealing with this person who is bitter and resentful. Could be a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. Could be a Sagittarius. Could be anybody. But this is a feeling of resent. It's a feeling of bitterness. You may be feeling lonely. Um, maybe you are dealing with a person that was hard to love. That could certainly be the case as well. Um, right now, you're probably in defense mode. Maybe you're standing up for yourself. You're, you're pushing people away, perhaps. Maybe you need to do that. It's like, don't get in my circle because maybe you're not ready for that. Maybe you're in complete protection mode. I think that's what you're doing. I think you're standing up for yourself and... You're at a point right now where you know that you have to do what's right for you. And if that means pushing people away, then that's what you got to do. So I think that you are probably making a very wise decision at this time to just not let people in that don't deserve to be there. Oh, you know, this is making a poor decision of some sort, right? In the future, this is juggling. Things may be a little chaotic. Maybe you've made poor decision decisions in the past. And now you're paying for it financially. You know, right now you may be going through some financial turmoil because of your poor decisions, just saying. Um, maybe there's a financial stress right now, um, and maybe that's why your guard is up. Um, presently, things are absolutely unbalanced for you. You're not feeling balanced. Things are feeling a little chaotic. And I think it's because maybe you've overindulged. Maybe maybe you've spent some money where you shouldn't have. Okay, this is this is uh, you know this is somebody who is very, you know, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. She doesn't manage her money well. She doesn't. So somebody may have not managed their money well by the looks of things, and now they're struggling. This is a struggle. This is a struggle. You may be struggling financially because of the poor decisions that you've made. Could have been been because of another person. Just saying, it may not have been all your fault, and I hate to say that, but. Um, there's definitely a feeling of bitterness here and I feel like you're dealing with maybe you are dealing with somebody who really hurt you and you've tried to overcompensate by spending you know retail therapy <laughs> it's real anyhow um, right now there's a feeling of needing to get back on your feet because of some poor decisions that you have made um, yeah making a decision this is making a decision to make better choices so I think, think right now, you guys, are, this is a card of consequences as well. I think you're dealing with some consequences of poor decision making. And I do apologize for that, for telling you what this is, because I'm, but I am going to do that anyway. This is good news coming in. So thank you, Lord. This is something good coming to you. Um, So you are about to go down a new, a new path, okay? Keep your head out, held up high. Okay, be confident in yourself. We all make mistakes. We do. Some This is good news is going to come. Something positive is going to come of this. Imbalance that you are dealing with right now, the struggle. I see a struggle right now. Um, but, <laughs> yes, happiness is coming. Happiness is coming. This is extreme happiness, contentment. 
So this is the overall outcome. The overall out outcome is, is happiness. So rest assured that whatever it is that you're going through, it is going to end and you are going to be happy again. You absolutely are. Um, you got to make better choices. That's a message that you need to hear. You may not want to hear it, but when you don't think before you act, you get yourself into situations where you lack, you know, you lack uh, happiness, but you are going to find it again. You are going to find it again. You may be really discontent right now um, because things are uh, really up in the air. Things are a little um, upside down. It looks like things have been turned upside down. It's because of a decision that somebody has made. Um, somebody has overindulged. They have. And it has to do financially. Uh, this is very financially driven. And I think now there's probably some regrets. But anyway, this, this is really positive because you are going to have a positive outcome in the end. You're, something better is coming. It really is. We're going to go back around. The challenge is, is uh, you know, this is conflict. This is tension. This is struggle is not playing, you know, not, not engaging. You don't need to play with people that want to constantly fight with you or they want to compete with you. You know, life is not a competition. It's not, even though it is, right? It is, according to society and according to the outside world, it is a competition. But if the only person you really need to compete with is yourself, honestly. Oh, it's hard to explain, but we're going to get some, some clarifiers here. Um, we're not going to clarify that challenge because we already know the challenge. You're going, you're struggling right now. You are struggling. It's clear. And you're tr struggling financially. Yeah, absolutely. Somebody has a, had a loss, you know, a loss of abundance and they're not feeling abundant at all. And it's because they should have held on to their money and, and they should have held on instead of spending it. Oh God. It's the truth. It's the truth. Um, oh goodness. <laughs> mm. Now this is telling me that you need to remain focused. Focus, 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 focus. Don't get distracted. It's easy to get distracted by, you know, what you see, by the glamour, by something that's attractive. Really, you need to remain focused. You need to work hard. You need to put in effort. You guys are moving forward to a better place. Trust me, you're moving forward to a happier place. The overall outcome is finding peace. You are going to find peace in this situation, but you may need to move on from something. Maybe you need to maybe you're you're trying to save to move or something like that or you need to save to move, but you keep on getting distracted by things that you don't need. Somebody has been distracted by things they don't need and and it's causing it's caused uh, an uproar i'm rubbing my chest at this point i feel as though you know <laughs> this is who you really are okay this is who you really are you're confident you're courageous you're strong you're attractive you're beautiful you're adventurous you're generous you're kind this is where you this is where you this is where you are. Bitter, resentful, hateful, angry, upset. It's time for you to take your power back. Don't let the mistakes you've made, don't get upset, whatever. We all make mistakes. Hold your head up high and keep going. Keep walking. You are a very strong individual. Come up with a new approach. Don't don't think negative. Don't let don't let anything hold you back. You know, find that force within you to show, prove yourself. Find that force within you. Don't let another person hold you down. Don't let loneliness, don't let bitterness keep you stuck. Remember who you are. <clears throat> Right now, hold on. Hold on to your money. Hold on to your finances. Hold on to what you have. Hold on. Don't let it go. Do not spend. This is a message that you need to hear. I don't know why. Hold on to your money. 
Well, that's a big message. <clears throat> and I don't <clears throat> say that very often. I don't gauge my readings around money. But this is financial loss based on impulsive behavior. Anyway, um, struggling financially because somebody, you know, is trying to, you know, society says you got to have this, you got to have that, you got to do this, you know, and you want to, you know, don't let ego get in the way. We all have it, not just you. Okay? There ain't not one person in this world that doesn't get sidetracked by their ego because we do. Anyhow, um, the basis is, is looking at things from a new perspective, you know, to bring balance and harmony back to your life to, you know, you're going to have to make some compromises, okay? You can't have everything. You can't have everything, even though you want everything. This right here is letting go, letting go, letting go of the need, letting the, you know, you don't have to prove anything to anybody. Right now, it's time to look at things from a new perspective. It's time to stop sacrificing yourself for the outside world. Stop sacrificing, you know, your need to please. Be yourself. This is needless, needless sacrifice right here. Somebody is, you know, causing their own struggle by trying to prove something to everybody else. Anyhow, anyhow, here, presently, you're not a victim, okay? Let go of the victim mentality. You cause whatever happens in your life, all right? This is uh, coming out of darkness by protecting yourself, by pushing things away, pushing things, pushing people, pushing, pushing anything out of your life that you don't need. If you put your guard up, and you protect yourself from other people or other people's desires or other people's perspectives or whatever it is, this period that you are going through will end. Do you know what I'm trying to say? What I'm trying to say is... It's so hard. It's so hard. You have the ability to come out of this darkness by saying no. Say no. Anyway, the future. <laughs> this isn't good. This is loss of income. This is loss of money. This is loss of abundance. This is loss of stability. Things turned upside down because... of the poor decision that somebody has made. <laughs> you have to protect yourself. You need, you need to act swiftly. You need to be assertive. You need to be decisive. You need to stand firm in your decisions. You need to make some sort of move. You need to make a hasty decision to, maybe you need to move. Oh my goodness. You need to nurture yourself. You need to nurture yourself. You need to work on self-love. You need to nurture your heart chakra. You need to focus on your, within. You need to work on within. Don't, don't, first of all, you need to save your money. That's, that's huge. Don't spend your money on anything. Don't make any hasty decisions to spend money on anything at this time. None. Just, that's a, that's a message you need to hear. Um... This is follow your intuition and follow your heart. Work on your heart. Work on mastering your emotions. You know, this is the queen of love. Love is more important than money. You don't need any of these things. 
All you need is love. Head in the direction of love to hell with the money, whatever that means. Now, mm, look at this. You have a new opportunity for love here in the future. You do. And this could be coming into your life very quickly. Maybe somebody has made a hasty decision, you know, because this is two choices in love. Perhaps somebody is in a commitment with somebody and they have a new love offer and now they, you know, have to make some sort of decision as to what they're going to do. So anyway, you have, two, you have a choice in love and I think that for some of you it may involve moving so that you can follow your heart. We have a match that is meant to be, but some sort of financial burden is hindering this. And you're going to have to take action and follow your heart and, and not worry about the money, whatever that means. You definitely have a love connection here. Could be with a water sign, could be with an air sign. We have Gemini. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and... Uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but this is a uh, lack of abundance, and maybe it's where you live. Maybe you need to move. Moving it could certainly be a factor here. But in the future, you have a new new love connection here, and this, and I think that you didn't expect this. Your approach is to go within. You really, really need to go within and you need to replan. You need to come out up with another plan. You need to refocus. You need to take a time out for, for serious, seriously. You got a new offer of love here. I know that you do. But you're gonna have to you're gonna have to come up with a plan as to how you are going to get your wish fulfillment. You need to Go within. And I have to tell you, this has to again, once again, go with following your heart. Your advice here is to follow your heart. But maybe you need to go within and you really need to think about, you know, what's more important, the assets, the home, the finances, you know. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, this is breaking free, taking back control, breaking free from a bond, a toxic bond. Some of you are needing to go within and figure out how you are going to break free from a toxic bond so that you can follow your heart. And you know, the devil is ruled by materialistic things and ego. Don't let your ego get in the way. What matters is love, not things. I don't know where that's coming from. Anyway, your outside influence is making a decision to to follow follow your heart, go after your dreams, follow you know, go after you know, you have to make that decision. There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment here with a new suitor. I know that's what this is. You have an opportunity for love here, Leo, with somebody that you did not expect. It could lead to wish fulfillment, but you have to make a serious decision here about love or money. And perhaps right now you're stuck because you don't have enough money to move for some of you. But if you would have saved your money and didn't act impulsively in the past, maybe you'd have the money. So that's for some of you. Um, so this is overindulgence as well. And this is a card of ego as well. Don't let ego get in the way. Don't let who gives a shit what the neighbors think and the world thinks. It's about love. Choose love, Leo. Choose love. That's my advice to you. Um, I think that you're ready. I think that you're ready for a new adventure. I think that you are hoping for more excitement, more passion in your life. And I do see that you have a new suitor. You do have a new suitor coming in. Somebody that would fit you very, very well. But there's not putting in effort, not working hard enough, because right now you're carrying some burdens and some responsibilities that you don't need to carry. You need to drop everything that doesn't serve you. Like I said at the beginning, 
you may need to make some compromises. Maybe maybe you guys are stuck in a predicament. You need to move. You want to move or you want to get in a new relationship and you can't because you're too overworked or you're too overburdened or you have too many responsibilities or you're in a home that you don't want to be in and you don't want to leave the assets and it's just a big financial mess. I feel as though you guys have to have blind faith at this time. Maybe you need to get a divorce and you're afraid. You need to have faith that once you let go of the burdens, everything will turn out positive. You need to be honest and up and up front you need to face your shadow side you need to face your demons you need to face your fears you guys have to take a new approach you need to think positive I think that you have an opportunity here for a true love connection but it feels to me as though you are involved in a situation that is pretty troublesome based on past financial decisions. And I think you're stuck there because of financial burden. And you have an opportunity to move on towards a happy commitment, a happy life. And you may overall, overall, Leo... You may decide to move on. You may decide that peace is more important. So I feel like you guys are headed towards a new commitment with somebody that could be absolutely a soulmate. Okay, you have like a soulmate connection here. I don't think you expected it. I think that you know that it's time to move on, but perhaps you can't because of financial burden. So that's what I see. Do I see some new love here? Absolutely, I do. I do see a new love interest here. But I see you guys needing to break free from a toxic situation. And that toxic habit could be spending. It could be a person. There's some habit here that is costing you money that needs to go. So that you can find peace. So that you can bring balance and harmony back to your life. So that you can be happy again. You have an opportunity for happiness. A commitment with somebody I think that you are meant to be with. But you got to find the confidence and the courage to go after what you deserve. I feel like there's been some cheating or there's been some deception and the truth is going to come out. Or the truth has been revealed. That there's no more victory and success in the current situation you're in. If it hasn't been revealed, it's probably going to be revealed. So I feel like some truth is going to be revealed that is going to help you to move forward to a better place. I do see that we have a new commitment coming that is going to make you really happy, but you're going to have to face your fears. You're going to have to be honest and upfront, and you're going to have to make a decision to choose love over everything else. And that is exactly what I have. We're going to get one of these for you, Leo. You have a new, new opportunity for love with somebody that you didn't expect. It's a perfect match. It's not, it's not what you think it is. It's not who you think it is. This person thinks that you are very, very, very attractive. They do. Gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. Be grateful. Yes, you've learned something. You have. You now have an opportunity to, I think, like grab love. Honesty. I, all, I can't always expect truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Be honest. Be honest with yourself. What does your heart want? There's a new love connection here. I suggest you follow your heart. Good luck.